Hey guys, it's Vieira. And I'm Andrew from Nocturne MC. And today and we're going to be showing you a tour of Diagon Alley. Yep, we're going to show you how to get started and how to get the Hogwarts. So let's get started with this. So you'll start off at here, and this is the spawn and stuff, after you get out of Professor Oak's office type thing where you enter the quiz. So then you would want to go straight forward, literally, and just go for the Diagon Alley wall. Yep, nothing to see here, just keep going. Keep going. Keep going from here. And then this is the brick wall, so there's a sign that says right click this brick and you just right click it and then the door magically opens. Yep. And just uh, want to point out, I have chat disabled for this video because of reasons, so you won't see anything in chat. So now yeah. we are in Diagon Alley and we're going to start off by going to the robe store. So Why here not? is the robe store. And when you also spawn, you'll get a list of stuff to get and um, everything we're covering here is what you need to get for Hogwarts and stuff. So you'll notice that there's a bunch of house robes right here, and you don't want to buy these. Since you don't know what house you're going to be in yet, you want to get plain work robes. Yeah, these are robes you want to get. So these are only two galleons, and you just right-click right sign to buy them and stuff. I bought some, but I don't need them, so I'm sorry why. There yeah, you go. Donation to the orphans. <laughs> oh my god, to the for to orphan first years. <laughs> I mean, technically they are orphans, so I mean... Are they, though? Anyway, so now the next thing we want to go to is the bookstore. And in the bookshop, you want to buy a few books. So here are the ones you want to buy. You want to buy the standard book of spells year one and year two, which can be found right here. And um, year two can be found, uh, where is it, right here? Yeah, right there. right there. You also want to buy the Transfiguration book for beginners, you know, this book. Four galleons right there. The Herbology book that is located right here. Then you also want to buy the Potions year one book. Along with the Defense Against the Dark Arts book, which is right here, next to Potions 1. Uh, Astronomy Year 1, which is right here. And History of Magic, which, which is right here. And currently Ooh, there's... Mr. Magic! <laughs> History of Magic, oh my god. <laughs> Andrew teaches that subject. And there is currently no Magical Theory 1, even though there is a class for that. I cry. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's Quidditch Theory ages over here, which is the Flying Book, by the way. Oh, that's the for Flying Book for the Flying Class, yeah. Uh, yeah. I forgot about that. So yeah, you can buy, you can buy that too. So anyway, right, so next thing we want to go to is Gringotts, really. I mean, yeah, Gringotts. You don't have to go here, but if you come over here, this is where you exchange money. Because in, so in the world of Nocturne, you have three, there's three different types of currency. You have galleons, sickles, and nuts. So one gallon equals 17 sickles, one sickle equals, equals 29 nuts. So here, just pop one in, you get one out, you get what the equivalent's out. So yeah, so this is how the currency works. One guardian equals 17 sickles, and one sickle equals 29 nuts. Nuts are worth pretty much nothing, and most of the things on the server are bought with sickles. So yeah, nuts are just like, not cosmetic, but they're just not useful. So yeah, in order to like exchange it and stuff, you like right click the sign, and you will get one guardian to 17 sickles. Yeah, there we go. Also, some shops have these built in, but they can run out. These will never run out. Yeah, these so. never run out. These are server made. The ones in shops are covered with different types of signs. So yeah, this right. is Gringotts, and the reason you need to go here is because there's other shops in Diagon that you need to buy stuff from, like the Potion Ingredient Shop. They You buy stuff from there with sickles and stuff. And, you know, this shop right here, it's just a box shop and stuff like that. We're not going right. to go into those shops right now because it's not the uh, central stuff you need to get. But right. one shop we'll go into is Ollivander's one shop because that's a very important shop you need to go to. Like this one you need to go to in order to get the Hogwarts. Well, not exactly though, because some if you spawn with a wand or a stick, if you don't have the texture pack, then you're good. But if you don't spawn with it and spawn with a wand tick instead, you want to go here. Yeah, so Ollivander's is like to the right of Green Knot, not too far away. It's just yeah. a nice little purple building. I think it's purple. I don't know. Yep, easiest spot. And this guy's, this guy's, um, alright, standing on his desk. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna... So the way to buy a wand, you either start off with a family wand, a family owned wand, and you don't need to actually go here. <laughs> My god. You either start off with a wand and you don't need to go here, or you need get a wand ticket and you need to exchange it for a wand. So, the way to do that, you right click this NPC right here, and you click, first of all, um, I'm gonna buy a wand ticket because I'm gonna show it off. So you need to buy a wand ticket if you don't have one, and you need to click a wand advice. And I have no chat open right now, so I can't see this. 
So then Andrew will do it. <laughs> um, sure. Okay. Okay. So, take the wand ticket, hit, hit the wand or stick icon, and it'll say... So for me it says maple with a dragon heart string core. So you want to find maple, wherever it is. Um, this okay, is he's the in that right down here, yeah. down these aisles. Yeah, this is the fun part, finding the sign. And I say fun sarcastically. Such fun. Hey, maybe you like, maybe you like, um, what would that be classified as? Like, not a, not a word search. Oh, here, no, that's mahogany. Maple's right. right here. Right where? Right here. There you go. Well, I'm a noob. Wait, where are you? <laughs> right here. Uh, 10 out of 10 coordination. Okay. Right there. Right there. Right. Okay, so, so there'll be a bunch of wands with different cores. You want to pick the one. You want to pick the right one. The dragon heart string represents strength. So I now have a wand. So now, if you right click with it, see if it disappears. Mine, mine changed back to a wand ticket, so you have to try again. You can try the same combo, or you can get another recommendation. I'm gonna try the same combo because I'm lazy. All right, dragon heart string, round two. Nope. I'll try. I'll try one more time, then try a different combo. And the way to get different different combo is yes. just to click it again. Oh, you got the wand. So I just want to point out that you don't always get it first try. So you just keep going back to recommendation thing, or just keep trying things you recommended. Because if you like the ones you have, like maple dragon heart strings, not a bad wand, pretty good. It, it then you keep wand. trying. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's 3D. It's in the third yes. dimension. 3D. It's amazing. Okay, take the wand and show here. Check out my wand. Look at it. So this is what the actual wand looks like when you hover it over it with the cursor. It will say a magical tool for casting spells. And then second line, that is orange, yellow, whatever you want to call it, is whatever your wand is. So maple wood and dragon heart string. Mine is poplar wood, dragon heart string and stuff. My, my number one is sycamore and vila. <laughs> yeah, it will say all that and stuff. And then the purple text, not the one at the bottom, but the purple text shows how long your wand is. And uh, there's a trait about it, like inflexible, unyielding, I uh, forgot the other Simple. ones. Subtle, Sup yeah, stuff like that. Supple, rigid, etc. Yeah, so I don't know how that affects your wand, really. I, I don't think it does, but it's just good to know. Yeah, definitely. Actually, I should really be keeping that wand. I bought the ticket, but whatever. Yeah. So. Well, it's my anyways. wand, so. Oh my god, you picked one. Alright. And then also, um, want to point out, wands have, some wo wand woods have special properties about them. I'm not going to get too much into that, but I'm just going to leave it at that. So, right. feel fun exploring. F uh, have fun exploring that. Yeah. Also, don't be don't be mad if you don't get a certain one. Each one has its abilities. So, abilities and disadvantages. Every one has a disadvantage of some sort. Yeah. Like, um, I'm not gonna give an example, but you know, some of them have disadvantages. Some of them yeah. are neutral. They'll have like no effect. So those ones are just normal. Yep. All right. So now we have to go. Now we're gonna walk. Yes, we're gonna walk. We have to walk everywhere. Actually, no, we don't, but for our purpose, it says we're gonna assume we have to walk everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna just walk to the taxis because we're also gonna go to uh, Hogwarts. Yay. Yes, we're little firsties all over again. <laughs> He's like, we're not getting sorted. So, okay, so we go back to the slash spawn point area, and you wanna get into a taxi and right click this sign. This sign will take you to King's Cross Station. If, Wait you know, me. if it work, Can it not work for what? Why is it not working? Um, works for me. Uh. Oh, am I might have. It's not, probably because I've turned off or something. Let me turn it back on, I guess. But, yeah. That's weird. Um. Uh, okay, so have your chat on when you're doing this. Good to know. Okay, there we go. And then I'm turned off now. So, note. Have your chat on doing that. Yeah, apparently it doesn't send commands, I guess. I mean, I you can't open chat either. So now we go down this giant platform thing and it's a also, bunch of walking. Sorry, before we go, I want to point out, do not go into this one. It's not like in the movie where it's between nine and three quarters. That's not where you're going. You're not going in here. You'll, you'll know where you're going. You'll see You'll see why. Yeah. But you just keep walking down this thing with all the lanterns and stuff. Yeah, just keep going, keep going. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Because we're totally in water right now. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Okay, so here we're coming up to this NPC, Stella. She has her cart and she's ready to go to Hogwarts, but she's indefinitely stuck here because she can't move. Fun. Yeah. So the way you get into Hogwarts, 
<laughs> the way you get in is to run at the wall like that. It'll, you know, magically take you across the barrier. Also, one thing, but if for whatever reason you do not have a wand, it will not you, let you in. Yes, you have to have a wand. You gotta keep the milk was out, right? So, this is a sign. Right click this and <laughs> you turn the chat back on again, but it takes you to Hogsmeade Station. Alright, so note guys, keep your chat on when you're doing this, or you're suffering the same fate as Viara. Exactly. <laughs> like, not be able to go anywhere. So then Box. you want to get off the train and stuff. Hey, I wonder. Do muggles, maybe muggles aren't, not muggles aren't magic, muggles always have their chat off. Oh yeah, that's probably it. You know, they can't access anything because their chat's always off. Right, so where are we going? <laughs> so, we're going to go this way and then show off the little, you know, shop thing. So this is where you can buy some food if you're actually running low. Because, yes, you don't, I don't think you start off with any food actually. So, you don't start off with any food. So this is where you get your food. And, of course, you need money and, you know, someone, uh, you know, sold out the whole steak shop. I wonder who that is. Hmm. Yeah, Oh, it wasn't me. Of course not. So then, uh, there's also bread and stuff. You can buy all that. And it's right click sign. Anyway. So now, we go off to Hogwarts. Yay. And then some more walking. Yay. Well, walking slash jumping slash... Oh my god, I think I just broke, I think I just broke my legs. Amazing. Oh, wait, I thought it was you down there. Oh, whoops. I saw you. <laughs> Excellent observation skills. I know, right? So then, um, the way first you just have to go is this, down this track because it takes you to the boats and you need to get to the boats for yes. stuff. Yes, because you've tried to swim this lake and got killed. Yeah, Okay, maybe, maybe I'm lying about that, but maybe I'm not lying about that. Maybe you are. But there are, I'm, I'm going to say this, there are secrets in the lake. That's all I'm going to leave for that. Walking down the hill. And that secret might be there is no secret. Of course not, yeah, no, no secrets. Hmm. There we go. Now this is the part where we probably take fall damage because I'm careless about my health. Yay. Yes, I'm also very careless. You can't take the path around. You don't have to take fall damage, but we're kind of reckless. We don't really care. So. I mean, like, it, you don't die, so it's we're fine. We're daredevils. <laughs> You'd be surprised, man. I just... If you died, I'd laugh so hard. That'd be amazing. I'm at, I'm at two hearts, man. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Actually, I left off the main area there. I'm so smart. Well, that's gonna kill you. So now, you want to right click this sign. Ah, oh, turn chat back on. Okay. Keep your chat on. Um, what? I said keep your chat on. Oh wait, that wasn't working. Okay, there we go. And now you right click this sign again. And then now we are here, yay. The boathouse. Now this is the place where, you know, you walk. And this is the whole Alan Rickman Memorial, of some of you yes. might know. He passed away a little while ago. Yep. The and server I... host an event. And wait, where is my... Oh, hey, here's, here's your thing right there. Yeah, there's mine. <laughs> Where's mine? Where's mine? Um, 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 I'll find it later. <laughs> I'll find it later. So yeah, this is the path you want to go in. I mean, I don't want to walk around, so I'm just going to jump across these. Use those parkour skills. Yeah, I know. You can, or if you're like me, just swim across here because you you learn to swim at 12 years old and you, just, you, just don't, you don't actually know how to swim, but that's alright. Amazing. <laughs> Swimming? What? What? Why would we do that? I know, right? It would just fly. So now we walk up these giant steps, not giant steps, but walk onto the long path up to the entrance courtyard. Yay. You can see it on, on the distance right there. <laughs> yeah. Come on, get, turn your Rocky music on. Dude, we're gonna get copyright infringement now. So. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> okay, so let's walk up this. So much walking, my god. Well, walking slash doing the stairs. But it's all worth it because we get to this giant castle. Yay. And you guys, and you get a killer current, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks so great from here. From our distance, it looks really nice. But yeah, here we are into the entrance courtyard now. Yay! And there's that kid flying there. Yep, because you can totally fly in Hogwarts in the books. But yeah. Oh, it's Bella. Cool. So now we are in the entrance courtyard. And this is the giant, you know. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Building. Let's call it building. Um, Hogwarts? <laughs> Hogwarts, yeah. This is the giant Hogwarts. And here are the giant gates that can be opened and closed. Not by me, of course, but can be opened and closed. And here is the, you know, entrance 
Not courtyard, entrance hall. So what you want to do is do slash set home GH here so you can return here without having to go all the way back. Yeah, and GH stands for Great Hall, it's just easy, easy to remember and stuff like that. Yeah. So Trust up... Don't, mm -hmm. don't want to walk back here. Trust me. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to walk here. Don't so, basically what's here, these are... I wouldn't say notices, but good information to know. So these are all the professors and stuff, and the prefects, and the head boy and girl and stuff. And, you know, the website, TeamSpeak, IRC, stuff like that. And this is the board with the Quidditch season, because this server has Quidditch. Yay. Oh, what the heck? Gryffindor is negative 440. Yeah, um, I don't know what happened there. And oh, wait, okay, plus, plus 440. Cool, they have a scoring system like that. So yeah. anyway, yeah, and then this is Quidditch. My name be on here. <laughs> so yes. now, yeah, I think we're done with the entrance. Uh, oh, what the? Nope, not, not, do? okay, so, do? I, you know, picked up some fine whiskey, fire whiskey, uh, oh. Great. um, no, oh, like. do not drink that. Not in Hogwarts, no way. Yeah, like, not in Hogwarts, you'll get house points taken away. So now, down this whole Great Hall thing, you'll see these ugly Hufflepuff banners, and then you'll also see this person for the sorting hat, yay. Who was offered for that? So, I swear, I swear. Yeah, ah. wait, why is this, I, what, you should be up here. Anyway, so what you want to do is right click the sign, and this will only work if you're not sorted and stuff, if you're a first year who just got in. So you want to right click that sign, and you'll get the sorting hat. It'll look, well, Come don't on. have money, but it'll look like one of those plain hats you got with your Hogwarts robes. Then you put it on, and it'll sort you into your house. And I'm assuming you all know what the four houses are. If you don't, um, Grief, learn. You. Ravenclaw. Yes. Eh. Hey, that was a good impression. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there's that. And then you're sorted, basically. Also, the year up, for like when you have 100% experience and stuff, you have to right click this sign, and you have to have house points also. And that's a whole different thing. So yeah, that's basically how you get from spawn as a pre. Uh, as a no person out of, you know, the quiz to, you know, the Great Hall, and how you get sorted and everything. That's uh, basically it. Okay. Okay. Wait, what? Ever. 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 This is where you get free bread once an hour, because you're going to run off of it again. Although, personally, I find it easier just to uh, go buy more, but eh. It's also, free. So, one thing before we sign off, look up, look up at the top right banner. Right there. See that banner right there? Yes. See where I'm... Okay. Well, actually, it is. <laughs> Dude, are you doing magic? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You put, you did magic. <laughs> you just set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, if it only spread. <laughs> Wait, what the heck did this spread? Okay, no, it didn't spread. <laughs> Fire to the Hufflepuff banners. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for this video. That's basically how you get from, you know, the spawn to Great Hall and how you get sorted and everything. So, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video. Bye. Goodbye.